All right, the first step in determining if the Crestron thermostat is right for the application, we have to check, make sure we have the proper wires. Mm -hmm. The Crestron, like other Wi-Fi thermostats, requires the use of a common wire, which this one does not have. Peter, would you mind holding that for a second? Let's pull on these wires and let's see if we have an additional wire here, which we do. There it is. We're gonna use that blue wire as our common wire, and we're gonna connect that at the air handling device. If you happen to have a C wire connected to your thermostat, you can skip this next part. Peter? Yep. You have red eyes. I do. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go up here to the air handling equipment. Oh, someone's got a, uh, a Wi-Fi router up here. All right, here's our air handling equipment. We have to find the thermostat wire, which is that, in this case, the brown wire. Let's follow it from here, across inside the air handler. A little disclaimer, if you are not qualified or not, don't have the mechanical ability to do what I'm about to do, do not try this at home. Call an HVAC professional into your home to connect that C wire so you can get the job I've done. located the air handling unit. There's Peter through the hatch with, with the red eyes. Um, for reference, this is our thermostat wire. We're gonna need to take off this cover. I have the power switch still on. We're gonna turn that off like that. We're gonna take off this cover and expose the insides of the air handling. Okay. Unit. I've got the cover off. Looks like we've been here before. See these Wagos? We've been here before. What's kind of gross is the amount of mold and mildew in here, all that black stuff in here. That's no good. If you see any of that inside of your equipment, call your HVAC contractor and have them take a look at it because this is no good. So anyway, our thermostat wire is right here. As you can see, that blue wire still wrapped around that thermostat wire, not being utilized. We're going to connect it to common. All right, I don't want to confuse anyone right now, um, but every piece of equipment has a common because coming out of the transformer, which is right there, we have our line voltage going in, which could be 110 or 240 volts. And then we have our 24 volts and common coming out. Now, I do know as an HVAC contractor, not only in the state of New York, but also of South Carolina and also coming up in Florida, that most condensers have two wires going to them. One is the Y signal, right? The cooling signal from the thermostat. In this case, this yellow wire, here it's coming from the thermostat it goes to this white wire which is one of two wires going to the outdoor condensing unit the other wire is a common so these two blue wires along with this red that's our common so we're going to take off this electric tape that someone put on here and use as a uh, protector or as a wire nut and we're going to connect our blue wire to there because that's common all right now our common wire is grounded right so we have to play very close attention not to touch this blue wire to anything mm -hmm. if the power switch is on. I turn the power switch back on only because I don't want to go back into the attic yeah. and I'm a professional. <laughs> now, we're going to remove the rest of these wires from the thermostat and we're going to use the template to mark out the wall. All right, wire is removed. And since it's one of the 12 days of Christmas, yep. Peter, mm -hmm. I know you love Christmas. I love Christmas. I have a song in my head right now that you haven't heard in a while. What is it? You ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Grandma got ran over oh, yeah. by a reindeer. <laughs> Walking home cool. from our house Christmas Eve. You can't say there's no such thing as Santa. But as for me and Grandpa, we believe. Yeah. I don't know. All right, using the provided template for a horizontal installation, I used a Sharpie, marked out the wall. I used, since I'm, this is a cloth wallpaper, I don't know if you can tell, cloth wallpaper right there, see that? That is cloth wallpaper. I used a, a knife, marked it out, and then I used an oscillating tool and cut out the sheetrock. <coughs> Fits like a glove. Now, the next piece is the back plate <coughs> or mount 
mounting right. block. My wall is very suspect, so I put a screw in here and there by just pre-drilling a couple holes. I got all my wires there. It doesn't look the best, but it's behind the plate and it works. Just like that. Bingo. Now we're going to wait for this to turn on. It does take a few seconds, but you can see the display is already preloading, and there we go.